What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Scat Pad Jazz, and you know, I'm coming with you with another video here today. I'm gonna do something a little different than I normally do because it's Thanksgiving time, man. So, I also wanted you guys to know I ordered a 2021 Scout, eh, Scout Bobber from Indian. Same color as my car, so I'm waiting for that to come in. As soon as that comes in, you know, I'm gonna have a video for y'all. But the video I'm gonna do here today you know, Thanksgiving season, I'm gonna hook y'all up with some sweet potato pies, bruh. And I know some people buy that Patty LaBelle sweet potato pie, but I'm gonna tell y'all, ain't nobody got nothing on my grandma's sweet potato pies. So I'm gonna hook y'all up with that recipe today. And yeah, check out these latest cops, though. Yeah, I'm a shoe fanatic. Shoes everywhere. So this recipe is super easy. Um, delicious when I tell you delicious. And yeah, so maybe your next Thanksgiving, you can make some sweet baked potato pies and you can be like, these is black sweet potato pies. And I don't mean black because of my color. I mean black because that's my last name. But all you need, you're going to make two pies. I got about a little over three pounds, which is usually enough. And um, all you need, pie crust, bam. Half a stick of butter, bam. Two eggs, vanilla pure extract. Little, you're going to need only a tablespoon of that some cinnamon and sugar and we're gonna get right into it right now i got the potatoes sweet potatoes back there boiling um i don't really know there's not like a set limit just when it's done it's done like if you can stick the toothpick all the way through so it's tender take it out you don't want to overcook it and make it mush but it's been boiling probably for over 40 minutes now and they're still kind of hard and it's on medium high so it takes quite a bit of while but yeah, we'll get back to it when the potatoes are done. So what's up, back? I forgot one thing. Milk, evaporated milk. I like this better than regular milk because like, I don't know, to me it has more flavor than regular milk. So canned milk. And I think my sweet potatoes are just about done. They seem a little tender. This thing fell right through, so I'm about to cut this off. Oh, yes, yes. And my dog's in the middle of the floor just wanting me to dump hot water on him, apparently. So I'm about to drain this. If y'all can see, I'm going to lower this camera down. Let's just drain this hot water in the sink. Might want to let it cool down because I can't even take it out of the pan right now. But when it's hot, it's the easiest to peel. So we about to fight through this. Hot potato, hot potato. My aunt's calling me in the middle of this to see what she want. Hello? Yeah, so auntie was calling, but I found it easier if you just slid it down the middle and then you can just peel it off from the sides. Also, I got these sweet potatoes from Win dixie They was 25 cents a pound. So, you know my grandma called me up. I'm like, yo, you better go get them sweet potatoes. And make sure you use your Win dixie card. So, this is the last one. This came up to like three, a little bit over three pounds. Like 3.4, I think. And this should make two pies. Now I'm gonna just take a paper towel. Make sure I ain't got no water in it because you know they were boiling. Just kind of get some excess water off these potatoes. I 
you want to cut these what is this horizontal yeah horizontal because you don't want it stringy if you cut it vertical you probably get a lot of strings in there so you want to cut it and i'm actually about to cut this piece off because i don't like the way it looks so you want to cut it vertical so boom really close together just like that Everybody thinks they're a sweet potato expert. Oops. Puppy! I'm calling him in there. What are you doing? Then he's gonna stand right here. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get this stuff off my finger. Down there. I'm gonna tie this here over too much. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Well, that's his fault. Alright, now move, Mutt. Move! I'm gonna take it and empty it to a bowl. I'm gonna add some butter. Oops. Gotta wash that now. So you can use a half, a little bit less than a half a stick of butter. It's kind of the rule of thumb. A little bit less, which I might use all of this, just make it extra buttery. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm add all this. I'm just gonna cut it up so it's easier to melt in. And the one thing you should know, you're gonna add egg last. And the reason you add egg last is so you're able to taste it to see if you need to add more sugar, more cinnamon to it. And once you got that all great, then you can add the butter to it. I mean the eggs to it. Two eggs usually for uh, three pounds. So I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and add my one teaspoon of vanilla abstract extract. However you say that. Oops, that was a little bit way more than one teaspoon, but it is what it is. I'm going to also open up my milk. So with the milk, you're not, you're gonna add about one fourth the milk. You don't really want to add more than that because we're not making soup. We're making sweet potato pie. Yeah, you don't want to lie. Just one little bit. I think that's about one fourth. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little dash of cinnamon. Make sure there's cinnamon and not paprika. Yup. Oops, that was more than a dash, but it is what it is. And, you know, just a little bit of sugar. Usually sugar is like about one cup is what my grandma said it usually comes out to. But it's really going to be the taste when you taste it. So we'll see how that goes. Had some company, so we're just mixing it. Add a little bit more milk because needed some more. Add another, I don't know, tablespoon of sugar. It's probably not sweet enough yet. Like I said, you mix it and then you'll taste it. And then you'll see what you need to add. Probably ended up adding about four and a half scoops of this size to it. I finally got it the sweetness of my liking. I added a little bit more milk 
So right now I'm about to beat these eggs up and then scramble them in and throw it in the pie crust and get ready to bake it, so. But yeah, so now I'm gonna get ready to throw this in the pie crust. I'm gonna put foil around the pie crust so it doesn't burn the edges because the edges cook really fast. Uh, I'm gonna probably bake it for like 30 minutes. My temperature cooks, my stove cooks super high, so I'll probably put it at 300. Don't know how long the sweet potato pies have been in the oven, but I can finally smell them and they smell delicious. What you gotta say, Craig? You gotta say something? I wasn't timing it because I forgot to, but I just looked at them. They look good. I'm gonna let them cook a little bit longer, usually like 30 to 45 minutes. I got the oven a little lower than usual, 325 instead of 350, because sometimes our oven gets super hot because you know it's one of those old ovens. Puppy, do you have anything you want to say to the peoples? You want to talk to them? Come talk to them. Come talk. Come talk. Say hello. Oh, good boy. Taking the pies out of the oven. You call some good sweet potato pie, baby. This is my grandma recipe. Yeah, Better than Patty LaBelle's pie, yeah, I said it. Boom, I took the foil off of that one early. Probably should have waited and probably went to remove that crust. But here's the final product. There you go, your homemade sweet potato pies.